How's it going? Uh, I'm going to try three reels here. Uh, the first one is the Ballina Lasses, and then the uh, Castle Bar Traveller, and then uh, the last one is uh, the Carrot Castle Lass. It's also known as a uh, George Rice favourite. Hello, today I'm going to play a set of two hornpipes for you um, and they both have Mayo connections. The first one is another tune I learned from Joe Byrne who I mentioned last week, the flute player from Ahamore. And this is a composition by Paddy Mills, a fiddle player from Borna Thro and Belmullet. And it's often known as Bush Mills hornpipe. And then the second tune is a composition by another fiddle player, Brendan Tonra or Tonra from Dew Castle in East Mayo, um, just close there to the Sligo border. And Brendan spent a lot of his life in Boston and he composed many fantastic tunes that are very widely played. And this particular one is called the Dew Castle Hornpipe.
Hi, I'm back. Uh, this time I'll play Slow Air. And growing up, I'd have heard this song. It's, it's a melody uh, to a song. Uh, I'd have heard it. Our house growing up was full of music. Uh, every Sunday, the big gathering in our house where uh, the uncles and granduncles would come over and play tunes. My grandmother, who uh, lived with us, um, was probably my, my teacher. She came from the village of Shai, which is outside Belmullet, between Belmullet and Gisalia, the home of that country. And um, an amazing woman, but her, some of her brothers were still alive when I was really young and they'd come visit. And there's one in particular, Phil Henry, a mighty man. And, uh, and my grandmother and himself would be talking about music. And then my uncles, my grandmother's sons, uh, they were mad into music, particularly my uncle Michael, who was a uh, stone mad on music. But I, I remember hearing this song. And then years later, uh, I heard it played by uh, no other than Matt Malloy, uh, where uh, I played in his pub for nearly 20 years. In Matt Malloy's pub. And um, he used to come in every so often. But I remember one night he played this, and I haven't been the same since. Uh, the song is relatively new. Uh, the, the text of it, 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 it mentions Michael Davitt, it mentions 67, you know, so I'm only thinking that it, it, it kind of, it's definitely within the last uh, 80 to 100 years. But the melody, uh, the bit of research I've done on the melody is that the melody dates back to maybe the 1800s, in around the early and mid 1800s. And it's stunning stunning melody so uh, the song itself is the banks of the Moy or the bonny sweet banks of the Moy. The Moy is the river of course in North Mayo running through Balna, Foxford, Swinford um, and yeah it's, it's just a stunning melody so I'll give this a go. Oh, goes out well. <laughs>
This time I'm going to play three tunes. The first one is a slip jig called the Moleskin Breaches, and this comes from the Philip Carlin manuscripts. They were compiled um, in Cross Malina by Philip Carlin. Most of the manuscripts were transcribed um, by him um, between 1863 and 1873, and he was a farmer and a fiddle player. The manuscripts contain hundreds of tunes, and um, this is just one of them and it's quite um, quite a lovely slip jig. The second tune I'm going to play um, is called The Newport Lasses and this was collected by Brendan Brannock and he put it into Kjolrin Kinehera and Ahane which was published in 1963. The last tune uh, is called Jimmy O'Brien's Jig and again um, the source for this um, Firstly, is is from Francis O'Neill, but he um, got it from James O'Brien, a piper from Swinford, County Mayo. Mm -hmm. 